Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on another episode of DXTX. I'm your host, Sahan and Safi, and this week we're going to be talking about Mallet Finger. Before we dive into this week's episode, as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe below. And as always, remember that this channel is for educational purposes only. If you're concerned about your injuries or your medical health, please make sure that you consult a qualified healthcare provider for further assessment. So what is mallet finger? A lot of people might be thinking mallet finger, baseball finger is another term that's commonly used. And so if you're ever finding yourself in a situation where you went to catch a ball, for example, and the ball stubbed your finger right at the tip of your finger uh, and you're having lots of pain, and then you notice that your finger is kind of stuck in a bent position, it's possible that you're suffering from something called mallet finger. So the deformity when, when we talk about mallet finger is related to a flexion deformity of the index finger most commonly, although it can affect a lot of your other fingers as well. And so what you'll see as a patient with mallet finger is that your extensor tendon, which is the tendon that runs on top of your finger, will sometimes get ruptured whenever there's an injury directly on the finger. So if you went to catch a ball and the ball hit the tip of your finger and put pressure on this tendon, this tendon can rupture, resulting in a deformity where your finger is kind of stuck in that flex position. So in patients with a mallet finger, a lot of the times you'll find that your finger will remain in this position and when you try to straighten it, you will be unable to straighten it because this tendon, which connects the bottom of the finger to the top of the finger is no longer connected, it's ruptured. There's a tear in that tendon. And so from a mechanical perspective, you cannot actually straighten your finger. Obviously at the time of the injury, a lot of this is associated with pain and swelling and reduced range of motion of your finger altogether. If you notice that you had this kind of an injury and it doesn't always have to be related to catching a ball, it could just be, you know, I've seen patients where they're making the bed and their, the tip of their finger accidentally hit their mattress and they felt a pop and they had a mallet finger. Uh, or they were, you know, walking down a hallway and their, the tip of their finger hit the wall or the edge of the door uh, and that resulted in a rupture of the extensor tendon. If that is the scenario that you found yourself in and you find you're having pain and swelling at the tip of the finger and you're unable to straighten that finger, it's very possible that you've suffered a mallet injury and in those cases, I highly recommend that you get seen by a qualified healthcare professional in order to solidify and make that diagnosis and to then prescribe the appropriate treatment. For those of you guys here thinking, okay, well, what is the appropriate treatment? And I think that this is what I have. The best treatment for these is what's known as a finger splint. So this is essentially a small plastic splint that you can put on your finger that keeps your finger in a straight position. The idea again with putting patients in a finger splint is that you are reattaching the two segments of tendon. So if each of these fingers represents your tendon, the idea is that we're allowing that tendon to come back together and to heal appropriately. And so this finger splint will hold your finger straight. Sometimes we even put the patients in a little bit of a hyperextended position to try to really bring that tendon together. Uh, and you really have to keep this splint on, which usually will go either on the top or the bottom of your finger. Uh, you'll have to keep it on for about eight weeks. Straightforward episode. Hopefully that was valuable to you. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe below. Uh, I look forward to hearing your thoughts and I wish you all the best. Stay safe.